Hello and welcome to Blue Reviews. And today I have a little sweet headphone amplifier here. It's a Topping L30, a very brand new amplifier from Topping, a Chinese brand that makes really good low budget stuff that measures really well. And yeah, I want to make this video quite short. I just want to tell you my opinions about it what I think and yeah, here we go. So build quality, nothing special, a little black box, doesn't look too expensive, too high end, volume knob feels okay, looks are okay, quite, looks more on the cheap side definitely, but the build quality is okay, I would say, all right? So, I don't care a lot about build and how it looks. To me, the most important thing is sound. And what do we have here? We have uh, an off button, a headphone amp uh, button and a preamp function. I didn't use the preamp function, so only headphone is important for me. And we have zero dB, a dB minus nine dB and plus nine dB gain. Okay, and the volume part. And here we have RCA input, RCA output for the preamp function and a power supply. So very simple, uh, so much for that. This thing, what makes it really special is it competes with the THX amplifiers from uh, MassDrop. Uh, these are a new line of amplifiers that claim to be very, very good in terms of measurements. So this topping amp has also a similar circuit like that, that has really, really good measurements. That means this amp has ultra low distortion, almost immeasurable low, uh, extremely low output impedance. You can find a lot of uh, these specs on the internet, also measurements uh, on the forums in the internet. So this thing measures better than almost anything else on the market. So in terms of measurements, you cannot beat this thing, you know. This thing is basically the single-ended uh, section of a topping A90, which is a balanced amplifier, and it costs uh, more than double than this. But this thing here is basically the same in terms of the circuit. So it should have pretty much the same sound, and in terms of measurements, it should be at least as good as the balanced one, you know. Because single-ended amplifiers are, can mostly be a little bit better in terms of signal to noise, but okay. Technically, you know, the same circuit, um, but okay. Um, so in terms of sound, yeah, how does it sound? Um, I had a bunch of amplifiers here. My deck is a MyTech 192DSD deck, which is a built-in headphone amp that is not very, it's, it's down here, it's a little bit of a mess, but yeah. Not very good. Um, I had a shit mule near here a long time ago. Sadly, I sold it. It was very nice. I had a shit Valhalla too. And what else did I have? Hmm, little dot tube amplifier. And here we have my baby, the first headphone amplifier that I ever bought. And I sold it and I bought it back because it is that cool. I like it. It's the old Burson Soloist. Today, these these Burson Soloists are not as big anymore. Yeah, this these are the amps I compared it to. And this thing is class A, like amazing and a lot of watts and yeah, really nice. But this thing, in terms of measurements, you cannot beat it. It's amazing. So yeah. I'm not a measurement guy, so I don't only believe in measurements. I think my opinion is we measure things like frequency response, total harmonic distortion, output impedance, and uh, all, all these kinds of things. But I don't really think that these specs really make the difference between the sounds of an amplifier to another. So there are tests on the internet, you can find YouTube videos that uh, have a test track that increases in distortion and like the amount of distortion we need before we re perceive it is really, really high. So I don't think that 0.0001% uh, 
harmonic distortion sounds different than uh, 10 times lower also, you know, okay? Uh, I don't care. I, I care about how real does it sound? This is how analog does it sound? How detailed does it sound? These things. Okay, and this amplifier is really good. It's definitely the best in its price range. I, I haven't heard anything better. It, it is better than the person in some regards, but overall I like the person more. So what, how is it? You know, the bass is amazing. It has some of the best bass that I've heard. Really punchy, really dynamic, really deep, really powerful, and also warm and full sounding. It has a warm and full sounding bass and this is important, you know. I really like the bass of this thing. I haven't heard a better bass on a headphone amplifier. It's so punchy, it's so full, so thick and meaty, you know. It has the right amount of bass, absolutely. Full plus. The mid-range. The mid-range is very neutral, very dry sounding, very okay. Nothing really to complain about. It has a very nice mid-range. Nothing special, just very neutral. Also the high is very dry, very neutral. Not, It's not a bright sounding amplifier. It's very detailed, but it's not bright at all. I would, all, I would even say it has the tendency to the warm side and it's really, really detailed, but not harsh and not bright. Soundstage is the weakness, I think, in this amp. It doesn't have the widest soundstage. The tube amps had a wider soundstage, of course. The Burson has a fucking wide soundstage. This thing has not the widest soundstage. It's actually quite small. And this is the thing that I, you know, uh, that is a little bit sad about it. And, and also the highs, they don't sparkle enough for me. They are not, I like it a little bit exaggerated. I like it a, bit, a little bit more lively. You know, tube amps give this life to the mid-range, this light in the sound. This doesn't have that. It sounds very neutral, very mechanical, very electrical, but in a perfect way. So, I don't know, you know, it, it is... Absolutely a perfect amp. You can buy this thing and be absolutely happy and you haven't paid a lot of money and you get absolute really, really beautiful, good, high-end sound. But it might not be what you like, you know. It might not be exactly what you like because you want something else in your sound and then this thing isn't for you. This could can be a reference for absolutely neutral neutrality or for technical measurement like perfection and this thing does it and when you go to the person you know <clears throat> you realize the person just sounds very much wider and smoother and a little bit more analog and high-end okay and well this is the comparison between the two you know this is what I have to say about this thing buy it because it's cheap the price is super good. This thing is super good. But can it compete with a thousand euro headphone amp? I think almost. You know, I think this is 90% as good. So the bass is better. The soundstage is not as good. Yeah, is it worth paying like 800 euros more? I don't know. For me, yes, this, this person gives me more. It, it sounds more real. All the sounds that I hear sound less electrical, sound more real on the person. And that's why I keep the person because it gives me what I want. But this thing would absolutely be happy with that. Th this thing is absolutely nice. If you don't want to pay more than 500 euros, definitely get this thing. You won't be disappointed, okay? Yeah, nothing more to say about that. Hope it helps a little bit. The these amps get a lot of hype nowadays, but I think part of it it, it's 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 absolutely uh, fine. It's absolutely what these amps are, but don't think that this is the end game headphone amp. I, I I don't think that this is because it has. If you only go for sound and not for measurements, how you hear it, it has weaknesses. I tested it with these here, Biodynamic 1990 Pros, also Odyssey LCD 2s and uh, Sondaras. Um, yeah. So that's it for my point of view. It, it sounded really good with the Odyssey, I have to say. You know, it was extremely good for the Odyssey. Not so good with the Sundaras uh, as the person, but 
but for this uh, Odyssey headphone, uh, it was really nice. Okay, hope it helps you a bit. And yeah, let's see if there be another video on this channel. This is just a test video. I'm going to sell this amp now and I just thought I make a short video before it's gone. So, bye bye.